Hi guys, my name is Elena. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to make a t-shirt. I love how this came out. I think it's a great idea because it's something you wear every day. So I'm going to walk you through all the steps. So to get started, you will want to use a t-shirt that you already have that you like and you want to duplicate it. And then you're going to need one to two yards of fabric. I ended up using one yard of 60 inch wide fabric. So you're going to take your t-shirt and lay it out and make sure you get all the wrinkles out and then you're going to go ahead and basically cut all the way around leaving yourself about a half inch all the way around for seam allowance. Now, you probably shouldn't be like me <laughs> and uh, it's best if you trace this out on paper first and then transfer from paper to your actual fabric but eh, I don't I just I I mean well, I, I just went ahead and traced my t-shirt directly on so you're going to do it for the front and then you're going to do the same thing for the back and just make sure that you are accounting for the neckline. It's going to be lower in the front typically than the back. And then don't forget to scoop in your armholes for your sleeves. Make sure you fold your sleeve in half, lay it down super flat, and then I kind of just put my hand on the sleeve, flipped over the rest of the shirt, and just traced out and cut out with my scissors about a half inch from that sleeve and shoulder seam. And you will want to cut out two of those, one for each arm. You will also need a, a little collar and this piece can really be however wide you want it. I ended up making mine just about a half inch wide so you need to double that and add a little bit of seam allowance. So I cut out about a three inch wide strip and I measured all around my neck hole so that I knew how long to do it. I think you could safely do 20 to 30 inches, but it'll depend on your t-shirt. So this is what you're going to need. One neckband, two sleeves, one front, and one back. So first things, <laughs> you are going to put your front and your back pieces together along the shoulder seams and pin it together, right sides together, and just do a normal straight stitch. So here is our shirt, it's folded out, so basically it's kind of like a poncho at this point, so what we want to do now is put in our sleeves. So I am taking the edges of each sleeve and lining both of those up and then slowly making my way around 
to kind of get that curved hump into it and make sure you pin it really good and you don't want any lumps or bumps or anything and then you can go ahead and sew all the way around again using your normal seam allowance. The nice thing about making a t-shirt is that the material is going to be stretchy so it's a lot more forgiving I feel like than other types of material. So once you have done both sleeves, now it is time to put everything together and sew along those side seams. So I find it was easiest to nest those armpit sleeve seams and then I went ahead and just pinned all the way along the bottom of the sleeve and down both side seams of the t-shirt. At this point, I also realized that I didn't want to do the same length as my original t-shirt, so I went ahead and put it on and then just trimmed it at the length that I wanted it to and then also added on about a half inch to an inch to allow for a hem. You can go ahead and sew those side seams and then I wanted my bottom hem to be stretchy, so I just folded up the bottom about a half inch and then used a zigzag stitch all the way around and this will make it so that you can stretch that fabric and that seam without it ripping apart or breaking. The great thing about this type of fabric also is that because it's like a knit it's not going to fray which is perfect for us. So it's okay to leave a raw edge if you want to. And then you can do the same exact thing for your sleeves. I just folded it up once and then did a stitch all the way around to secure it. Now when it comes to doing the collar, I had to do this actually a handful of times to get it perfect, but I went ahead and pinned the center of my collar onto the front of my t-shirt and then you want to stretch the collar so that it will actually be tighter and that it will have some tension and be tight and actually look like a normal t-shirt. So pin your way all the way around and then what you're going to do is get the tails of your collar at the very back. You're going to open it up, put it right sides together, sew, and then you can fold it like normal and pin it to your shirt. And then you can secure it all the way around. Because the collar is folded and we're putting it to our shirt, when we flip the collar up, it will have a finished edge and look really professional. Again, make sure that when you are going all the way around, you are keeping really good tension on your collar so that it is fitting nice and tight but it's also not puckering or gathering or anything like that. After this step, it's really, really important to clip that around that curve edge. So just make sure you get some little scissors and clip all the way around your collar. That way it will lie nice and flat. And then that's it. You have a finished t-shirt. And this thing, honestly, it looks like you could have bought it from a store. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It was super easy. The material was honestly not that much. It was like $10 or so. 
and I'm definitely making this again. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and like and subscribe for more content. Ha, ha, ha.